Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to do a video on the basic settings uh, that you can set in my code for your brushless strifes. Um, let's plug it in. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you do need to plug in your Arduino into your machine. Uh, obviously to be able to read these settings. But uh, firstly we have battery S, which is the battery voltage. So if this is a 2S, a 3S or 4S. So this is currently a, a 2S. This one here, sorry. This one's a currently a 2S. So I should change that to the number 2. And I should put in the KV of the motors, which the standard ones are 3000. All of that is used to work out um, the RPM, or the theoretical RPM, and therefore how long the rev down should be for when you adjust the pot and just in general so it can in, in ensure there's a good rev down time it's not too fast not too long the rev down is important because it gets ridiculously hot if you have no rev down and braking enable where it goes from a 100% rpm to stop and it will melt down big time so that's what those settings are for uh, you have the enable pot which is, I can never decide what to call it, the knob or the pot. That's your speed controller knob. Which if we just fire that up. Uh, and the purpose of the invert pot direction is that depending on if you've got it on the left hand or the right hand of the blaster, you might want the direction it turns to go up to be inverted so you can change that. Uh, you also have the max servos. This is what we're really here about, and this is the maximum uh, number that gets sent to the ESCs. Now, the ESCs will pretty much be 2,000 as maximum performance, or if you like, 100%, and 0% uh, would be 1,000 to make, of course, our lives difficult. It would be nice if they just had it in percentage, but obviously that would be a lower resolution if they did that. Uh, so they didn't. So 2000 is 100% and 1000 is 0%. So we want, need to know how much to limit it by. So that, well, to some degree that fundamentally you need, means you need to have a chrono. To, but what we do is to be able to read back what it's currently set at, because obviously we can adjust this. but we don't know what that is to set it to. Now, ideally you'll have a chrono and you'll, you'll adjust the RPM for whatever darts you've got or whatever mod. And once you've got that, you need to therefore set the maximum speed to that value, but you don't know what that value is. So what we do is after we've connected to our Arduino, we can then load up serial monitor and we should have to set this to the board rate of 57600. Okay, that currently starts spamming us with numbers. Now, it's, it's currently at 1000, which is logical because that's 0% and we're not moving. If we pull the trigger, it's going to go to the minimum speed, which is 1300, which is a setting in there. And if I increase the number, okay. So let's take that as So we'll take that as 1594, we've chronoed it, we've decided that is the right value, so we come back to our program, and we put in 1594, we program it, we wait. Wait for the noise, fire that back up again. Now you would think that's going to give us 1594, but it won't, it'll give us less. Which is, which is what happened now. It gave us less because we changed the maximum to 
1594, but we've still got our pot turned down. So we need to turn that all the way back up now. And there you go. That gives us 1594, and the pot now works between... In between 1594 and all the way down to 1300. So now you have still a useful knob. But it's currently limited. Now I made mention of the 1300. Uh, that is down here and uh, well, it's currently called pot servo. So that's the minimum speed. You can decrease that or increase that. The reason why we stuck it at 1300 was that meant that if you just had it at 1300 and you fired a dart through it, it wouldn't jam, which is rather handy. Um, but if you go to like 4S or change all, all of that, that 1300 might not be right. But you can change that. These settings here are the settings that should be set in BL Heli. So you set the, the minimum servo time of 40, uh, 1040 which should be the standard Bell Heli 32 settings and the maximum is 1960 which should be the maximum uh, number for Bell Heli settings. So that's really it, it's pretty easy, that's all you need to do. Dunberger. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, it'd be great if you could could become a Patreon because it's taking lots of time and money. That would be super awesome if you want. If you don't want, that's cool. Don't forget to like it, even though you might not, but like it anyway because that's the right thing to do. Don't forget we have a large Facebook group uh, and all of the stuff is free download as far as I can tell. Um, and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.